All right, this is part three of my Executive Greed series. Just going to follow up on a few statistics that are in this week's Time magazine. 71% of all Americans now believe that there should be limits on the salaries of all Wall Street executives. That's 71%. 67% want the government to force pay cuts on the top executives of the Wall Street firms that received bail bailout money uh, from the uh, United States government. So this tells you quite a bit about the Americans' mood right now, especially as it relates to this greed, uh, these huge bonuses and these huge salaries. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens Tomorrow, in the New Jersey governor's race, there's a former president of Goldman Sachs uh, who's running for re-election. Uh, he's famous for having spent the most money in the history of uh, United States Senate campaigns. He spent $62 million to win that seat in the Senate. He's spending enormous amounts of money uh, to win the New Jersey governor's race. Uh, we'll see tomorrow. I think that'll show you something about the public's attitude towards great wealth right now. Uh, along the lines of uh, Goldman Sachs, uh, Lloyd Blankfein, who is the CEO of Goldman Sachs, uh, made approximately $42 million last year. Actually, uh, he probably made more. There were probably some bonuses and stock options included, but $42 million off the top. If you look at that on a uh, weekly basis, that's $825,000 uh, a week. And it's $165,000 a day. Now, if you look at the average worker, the minimum wage worker, he's going to make about $15,000 a year. If he tried to make the amount of money that Lloyd Blankfein made in an entire year, $42 million, he would have to work for over a 1,000 years. Now, these things uh, give you some perspective. There's certainly no reason that these executives shouldn't be paid extremely well. Uh, they are highly skilled, highly intelligent, highly disciplined and capable people. Uh, but these are astronomical salaries and they're not going to last. You can count on that.